like I can remember 2008 in the hundred back in the semis, Aaron Pearsall is pulled up and I'm on deck and his feet are slipping down and he can't drop off because it'll be a false start. So he gets a terrible start. It's a body length behind. He qualifies fifth in the hundred. And um, the guy who qualified first was the fastest 50 backstroker. I would love for him to come swim for me. Liam Tancock. Mm, yeah. Liam could fly back. I am um, even went 157, 200 back. And Aaron wanted to be next to him. Because Aaron, when swimming the 50s at World Champs, never went better than 25-6. When he set his world record, put his feet on the wall, 25-2. Wow. He just was maybe the subtlest and greatest competitor I've seen. We could be running a workout out here. He could be doing backstroke. and Somebody over here, three lanes over, swimming great, fly or free. He'd trade with somebody just to race. That, that's interesting that you, you pick him and, and his competitive nature, and that, and that kind of draws me to a question of, what are the similarities between the champions you've had come through? You mentioned Neil Walker, you know, Brendan Hansen. I mean, the, you've had real champions come through this program. Are there, are there similarities between all the guys that you, you say, like, if you, if, if you don't have that, then you'll never be that? Well, brings up Ian Crocker. Right. Ian came in making the Olympic team out of high school as a senior summer after his senior year. And he thought the weight program he did there was good. All right. First year he hid from me in the weight room and swam in the sprint pool. And he went and Michael beat him the next summer. So he moved three days a week to the distance. And did 80% of what I wanted in the weight room and went from 52.2 to 50.9. Then he was in the distance lane five times a week. He went 2100 free on a minute. First 17 were 55. The last three were 53. Wow. He was, he could do amazing things. So it, it's a matter of buying into the program. Well, like Brendan, Brendan was third in both, both 100, 200 breasts in the trials. Third is last. I mean, it's really great out of high school that he did that, but he came in as a man on a mission. He didn't lose all the college. and. They worked harder each year. That's like when Pearsall came here, held the world record in the 200 back. I was scared to death because he was already so good. Mm -hmm. He was 11th in the 100 back. I told him our strength program would make him better in the 100 and which would make him better in the 200. And he went to work in there. 